One of the options available when you're setting up a Raspberry Pi is to configure it as headless. This means that it will only have a command line interface rather than a full desktop. Normally with a headless setup you do your configurations remotely so you don't even have the Pi connected to a display. This is especially useful for applications that provide their own web interfaces such as Octoprint or Node-RED. So in this video we'll take a look at the most straightforward headless setup for your Raspberry Pi. But before we begin let's first talk about what we'll cover in this video. First we'll take a look at what parts that we'll need. Next we'll take a look at installing the Raspbian Lite OS. Then we'll look at configuring the Pi including connecting it to the network. And then finally we'll connect to the Pi using our PC. For setting up all the Pis you're going to need a micro SD card that's at least 8GB big and a card reader. For the Pi Zeros you're going to need a mini HDMI adapter and also a micro USB hub. And then for the Pis that don't have Wi-Fi, you're going to need a Wi-Fi USB dongle. Then you'll also need to connect up a USB keyboard and a HDMI display. Next we'll look at installing the OS. First go to the Raspbian download page and download the latest light image. Next you want to download the Etcher software from etcher.io. Once it's downloaded, install Etcher. Plug your USB card reader into your computer and launch Etcher. Select the zip file that we downloaded, so the Raspbian stretch light.zip for me. Then you want to select the micro SD card that you've inserted into your computer. And then you just want to click flash. After a few minutes you should get the flash complete message. I don't know why this format disk window is popping up, but you definitely don't want to click it. Now it's time to plug everything into the Pi. Power up the Pi last because I find that sometimes some of the things don't work properly unless they're on from the start. You should see a boot up screen similar to this on your Pi if everything worked okay. When the Pi boots the first thing we want to do is log in. The username is Pi and the default password is Raspberry. We definitely want to change this so we don't end up in a botnet. To open up the configuration menu type in sudo space raspi config. This will bring up the following menu. The first thing we want to do is change the default user password. Just type in a new password and confirm it again. Next we want to set up the Wi-Fi, so navigate down to network options and then select Wi-Fi. The first time you do this you'll be asked what country your Pi will be used in, so select that. Next you'll be asked to enter in your SSID, so that's the name of your network, and then you'll be asked to enter in your password. After you click OK, you'll be brought back to the main menu. The last thing we need to do in this menu is enable SSH, so go down to Interface Options, select SSH and enable it. And after you exit the menu, finally you just want to get the IP address, so type in if config and the IP address will be listed there. Now back on your PC, we're going to connect to the Pi using a SSH software like Putty, which I'll link to below. Type in the IP address of your Pi and click Open. The first time you try log into a device that Putty doesn't know about, it will pop up this message. You can just click yes to this. You now want to log in using your credentials, so the username is still Pi, but your password has been changed. And now you've successfully logged into your Pi over the network. And now just to confirm that these settings persist, I'm going to reboot the device, and after it reboots up, I'm going to connect with Putty again and I'm able to log in with the same details over the network. Hopefully you found this video interesting. I have a few upcoming projects where I'll be using a Raspberry Pi and I thought it would be a good idea to create a base video that we could refer back to for setup. As always, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.